Hi guys, my name is Karen Doolin. I'm here with Newport BoxFit. Today we're going to do uh, a little bit of a box tech lesson. So our first couple of rounds are going to go over basic boxing technique, uh, your boxing stance, your basic punches, how to throw them. And then the last couple of rounds we'll do uh, more of a workout involving those punching techniques and some other fun stuff for you. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. So uh, first and foremost, most important thing and boxing is your, your foundations, your, your boxing stance. So your dominant hand, the hand that you write with, and that same foot are always gonna be behind you, right? So dominant hand and same foot in the back, the other hand and foot are in the front. Okay, see my feet are at least shoulder width, maybe a little bit more for some people. Um, toes are pointing diagonal, both in the same direction. Hands are up on my cheekbones, Elbows are in and down, and then I'm going to go ahead and bend my knees. I'm also going to turn my hips here so that my shoulder and my hip line are pointing this way, not this way. Squared up is a big target, right? We don't, we want a smaller target. All right. So here we are, boxing stands. Uh, next piece I'm going to go over is just how to do some basic footwork within this stance. Um, you don't want to cross your feet. You want to keep your feet shoulder width apart, so you don't want to bring the feet together. We don't want to cross them like this either. All right. So if we're going forward, it's going to be like this: front foot and then back foot. Right. Always kind of just maintaining the same distance here. If I'm going backwards, it's back foot and then front foot. Okay. So forwards, front foot leads. Backwards, back foot leads. Same thing applies when we're moving laterally. So if we're moving to the right or to the left, if we're moving right, right foot leads, and left foot follows. Other things I forget to mention, we're gonna move left now, so left foot and then right foot. You want your weight fairly centered, more on the back foot than the front foot. You also want your weight in the balls of the feet. You'll notice when I move, you can't hear my feet because I'm not flat-footed. You don't want to be flat-footed. If you are, you won't be able to move as quickly or as effectively. All right, so forward footwork, front foot, then back foot, backwards. We've got back foot and then front foot. To the right, right foot leads, to the left, left foot leads. So whatever direction that we're going in is the foot that's gonna bring us there first. The other foot is gonna go ahead and follow, all right? You want to have little steps too, right? I don't want someone to know that I'm coming over here. I want to kind of sneak over there, right? Small, efficient, effective footwork, right? And always maintaining that boxing stance. Always keeping the hands up, always keeping the elbows in, knees are bent, all that good stuff. All right, that's your basic footwork. Nothing crazy right now, keeping it simple. All right, very nice. Take a little rest, I'll explain what's next. So we're gonna go over our first two punches, starting with our straight punches. So everything again from the boxing stance, starting off here. We're gonna start with our punch number one, which is our lead hand. For me, that's my left. So that's our one, it's, it's actually the jab. Everything in boxing comes from the ground up. So my toes start with the jab. From the toe, the top of my head. Right? You wanna fully extend your straight punches especially. Right, so I want this punch not to just meet the target, I want to go through the target. I'm also turning my hand over. I lead with my first two knuckles, and as you see my pinky is slightly up here, not straight on, so I'm here. All right. So that is our one. Our dad, we also want to keep those elbows in line here. I don't want to let the elbows splay out as I throw the punch. So nice and straight. So next up we've got our two, which for me is my right hand, my straight right. It's also called a cross. So 
again from the ground up. So I turn that foot, bend the knee, turn the punch over. So I'm getting with my first two knuckles and that pinky is slightly up. You also want to make sure you fully extend this open, right? So rotating on your punches is huge. It's for power. It's also helping you to fully extend your punch. If I don't rotate, my punch is much shorter. But if I do, it's all the way up here. Also, by turning on your punches and rotating, you're moving your head out of the center here. So if I turn, I'm moving my head like this, less of a target. All right? So that's our street punches, our one and our two. So right now we'll just finish up this round, throwing your ones and twos, moving your feet before or after you punch. Make sure you fully rotate, so fully rotating the foot and then fully rotating the hand as well. and we'll take a little rest. we're going in is the foot that's going to bring us there or lead us there rather good now we're going to do another basic combination it's going to combine the one two and the three so you've got our straight left, our straight right, and our lead left hook, which is the three. So one, two, three, we're gonna move our feet. 
making sure we turn on all those punches. So rotating on the foot, fully extending, pulls arms on all three of those punches, extending straight on the one and two, and then bringing that elbow up to shoulder height on the three, and opening that arm up. take another rest and we will do our last round of just our basic technique before getting into kind of doing a little bit more of a workout with the things that we just learned and adding in some more fun stuff so we'll go through our last two punches which would be our uppercuts everybody seems to love these a lot of people don't know how to throw them correctly I was one of those people for a long time so starting here in our boxing stance we'll start with a five which is gonna be our lead hand uppercut this to the left so elbows are in nice and tight especially with this punch right I don't want to bring anything out so I come here just kind of a little scoop up driving right from the ground up driving my hip almost like my hip is attached to that elbow notice that I don't drop my hand to throw the punch you don't want to do that with any of your punches you're especially exposed when you throw uppercuts so I want to push up that incorporates one of each of our punches. So we're going to do a six, three, and a two. So you've got an uppercut with the back hand, hook with the front, and then a cross, which is the back hand. All right. So six, three, two, and then we're going to move our feet. So we'll do some basic boxing combinations more into a cardio workout and then we will combine that with some of my favorite little plyometric moves. So our first round here we're going to do some straight punches. We'll do a one two step to the right and throw a two. I'll say switch in 30 seconds and we'll do my other phase which is squat jumps. So right now we're starting off one two step to the right and two. You can move your feet around a little bit more as well. The more you move your feet, the more you're going to get out of a workout like this. Good. 
good. Now we're switching to squat jumps. combination followed by some plyometrics. So we're going to do a one, two, three, four. Move your feet first. Second 30 seconds, we're dropping down. We've got plank jacks. So right now starting off, one, two, three, four. Switching, we're dropping down now. We've got plank jacks. Good, we're back up. We got one, two, three, four. And move your feet.
and back up. One, two, three, four. Move your feet. In last 30 seconds, you're back to plank jacks. Good, and rest. All right, so we'll do our next round. We'll start with a combination that has to do with our five and six, and then we will add in a little exercise there as well. So we're gonna do a one, five, six, two. All right, one, five, six, two, move your feet. Our second 30 seconds, we're gonna be here. Butt kickers, so heels up and back. So one, five, six, two, and move first. Nice back to that punch combination of one, five, six, two. Move your feet. Back to Back to that combination. Last 30 back to back kickers. Speed. Third 30, we've got regular burpees. Wouldn't be a boxer class 
I didn't put some burpees in there for you. All right, so here we are right now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Move your feet. Good, now we're switching, we're stationary in our boxing stance. We've got fast ones and twos for our non-stop punches. We do want to fully extend these. They are straight punches, right? change we got regular burpees. One, two, three, four, five, six, and move. in our boxing stance, non-stop ones and twos. Focusing on speed, full extension, all that good stuff. And last 30. Burpees. Finish. Thanks for hanging out with me. Enjoy your day.